What's good, Josh? Your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, um, before we get into this uh, Cody Rose and Paul Heyman uh, promo segment, I just want to say thank you to everyone that uh, um, that was sending me uh, prayers and and um, showing concern for me on the last video that I dropped uh, about my car accident and uh, on on Twitter and on Instagram. I thank you so much. Uh, that really does mean a lot to me um, that you guys, you know. Um, showed uh, you know show that you care like that that means the world to me and uh, I am doing a little bit better I've just been taking the medicine um, for my neck and whatnot so I've been you know feeling a little bit better but for the most part uh, just been kind of relaxing at the crib but I had to check out some of the clips from Monday Night Raw since we didn't get to stream it and this I had to talk about this I had to make a video on this I'm not gonna do a reaction to it because I already saw the segment but this Paul Heyman and uh, Cody Rose segment was fantastic. And the way they set this up, the way the story is being told here, I love it. Now, of course, we're still dealing with the Sami Zayn bloodline situation and how that's going to play out at Elimination Chamber. And there's still a lot of people that want Sami to be the person to dethrone Roman at WrestleMania. But most likely it's not happening and the way they set this promo segment up i think they're trying their best to deviate from you guys wanting sammy to be the person and i'm i'm in that crew i would love for sammy to be that person but i know the bigger story they're trying to tell is with cody and i'm okay with that as well i love this this was great and the fact that they just sent paul to kind of initiate this was fantastic this whole thing about Cody coming back is all been it's mostly been about him trying to do his father proud and I, I don't think anyone has a problem with that storyline but when you have Sami Zayn who's just incredibly over right now as a baby face people are you know they're they're leaning more towards the Sami Zayn story because it's been going on for months now Cody was out with injury so everyone's been accustomed to what's been going on with Sami more than Cody so they've been pretty much talking about this whole his father is you know his father storyline and doing it for his family doing it for his father or whatnot and i like what paul Heyman was saying and i like the fact that it, it got a little personal paul even got emotional uh when cody was basically saying hey when my family didn't have any money you came in offered my job uh, offered my dad a job and paid him well uh, for our appearance on ECW and him being involved in that you helped us and I can never you know say enough thank you to ever repay what you did and it was it was such a good promo because you didn't know where it was going Cody's really showing his love and, and appreciation towards Paul Paul even getting choked up and Cody made it very clear you know what I'm saying hey I'm here to do one thing and one thing only that's to become the the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, you know. Paul pretty much he acknowledges that he appreciates that, and he goes into his history with his dad. And then this is when things oh Paul, they are so good. This is when things switch. He starts to talk about how Dusty Ro uh, Dusty was training the future for WWE at the Performance Center. He trained Seth Rollins. He trained trained a Becky Lynch. He trained KO. He's trained Roman Reigns. And that's when things start to get a little bit different because Paul pretty much says, we're not sure why he didn't train you to be the guy. But he trained him. He trained Roman to be the guy. He just never trained you. Maybe he wanted you to do it yourself. And this is when it got even more spicy when paul said one of the last conversations i had with your dad was he said you was his favorite son and then he said roman was the son he wished he had and oh paul drops the mic like a pipe bomb it was so good because you think paul's gonna kind of say some nice things and maybe get into the spill that he's not the guy to beat roman but the way he spun that where he's talking nice about his father and his family to saying his father trained Roman. He didn't really train you. And he wished that Roman was his son. 
Oh my God, that was so good. That Paul Heyman is one of the best talkers on a microphone this business has ever seen. Fantastic. He was selling the emotions about the beginning of the promo to completely going rogue. It was fantastic. Of course, Cody takes exception to this. And I like Cody's demeanor. It's not him just raging out, but you can see the annoyance now. So he walks up to Paul, shakes it, puts his hand out, you know, trying to shake his hand. He's probably squeezing his hand. And then I love this. What he was saying is like, all I'm trying to do is just win a wrestling championship. But everyone wants to make it personal. So just I want you to tell your boy, Roman. I'm not going to take it out on you. I'm going to take it out on your boy, Roman. Tell him I'm going to take those titles at WrestleMania personally. Oh, my God. This was so good. I, I had to make a video on this because this is what we need. Crowd was all into this. This is the story they need to go with. This is the story that's going to make Roman even a better heel. Your dad trained me to be where I'm at. He never trained you to be where I'm at. You literally had to leave the company, make a name for yourself, only to come back over here. And you still won't get the job done. Like, I want Roman to get into that bag. Your dad really embraced me more than you. And you're his blood. Like, oh my. The things they can do. Just going into that bag like, yo, at the end of the day, I'm made for this. And maybe they can go the route of, I am the chosen one. You had to leave to come back to get to where I'm at. And they can build that story as Cody not being the chosen one. Cody was never the one to be picked to be the head guy. Roman was always picked to be the head guy. And I hope they expound on that as well. This can really work. Once again, I don't think everyone's going to be on board because people love Sami Zayn and especially what what may happen at uh, Elimination Chamber. We'll see. But I think this is how you get people more on board to care about this match because now it's getting personal. And it needs to get to a point where it's at a fever pitch where they, you know, I, I, I am one of those people that love, I've always loved the, the breakaway brawls. It needs to get to that point where it gets personal with, between both, not just on Roman's side. Cody needs to get really personal with him as well. Bring up maybe some real interactions, real stories. To the point where it's a fever pitch and they have to do whatever they can to ultimately break these guys apart to make you really want to see this match like I'm, I'm, I'm all for this as long as they tell a great story leading up to wrestlemania which they're doing so far i'm all for this i am one of those people either one didn't really matter to me of course we wanted sammy to be the guy but it's just not gonna happen but that doesn't mean Sammy can't be involved in this story. And it'll be interesting to see if they involve him in this story. Because Cody's just one man. And what we've known about this Roman Reigns situation is you need help. There's no way Cody can do this by himself. He may need the assistance of Sammy. He may need the assistance of Kevin Owens. And honestly, there's nothing wrong with that. Because you're going against a, a bloodline of people. Not just one person. So it'll be really interesting to see how they build this story up. But comment down below. Let me know. What did you guys think of this whole promo segment? Did this excite you even more for their upcoming match at WrestleMania? I know it did for me. And I'm looking forward to seeing what story they tell uh, going forward. But I appreciate all the love and support uh, you guys have shown on the channel. I appreciate all the love and concern for me and my well-being. I thank you so much for that. Uh, Row 2. 150k and i am still yeah and just be the youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace